Good morning, you guys. It's me and Bunny. Uh, Bunny is in his work clothes today because we are working. We're doing a tutorial. Someone asked me to show them how I put together the little bunny books and also something about the envelopes I make. So, Bunny decided to get his work clothes on so that he could work with me. And, um, Bunny, would you like to say good morning? Good morning, fans. It's me, Bunny, and I am here ready to work today. And, um, hopefully we're doing a tutorial and, um, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Okay, back to you, Mom. Thank you, Bunny. That was wonderful. It was very professional. Okay, why don't you go over here and get comfortable so I can talk to these people. Okay, Mom, I will. Bye, you guys. Okay, good job, Bunny. Now, um, to I am telling you, my desk is a mess, and this is what it looks like all the time. So, um, I'm just like, why should I straighten it up and try and be all fancy? Because I'm just not that way. Now, when I make my books for Bunny... Um, they are about this size, actually. They're exactly this size. And then I make a spine for them, and then I embellish them. And the way I start the whole process... Excuse my arm. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Um, I have playing cards, and I take two cards, and then... I actually make uh, my own spine. I get like a piece of cardboard or whatever. And I am not one of those people that measures or uses a ruler or any of the stuff that you're actually supposed to do. Um, I just ballpark it and hope it turns out all right. And if it looks crooked, I cut a little bit off. And that's pretty much how it goes. So, um, that's going to give me a spine about that big. And so I just cut it. And I have tons of cardboard. I save, like, cardboard from the backs of paper pads and, you know, packing, whatever. I, I save everything, and I'm not kidding when I tell you this. I know I've said it before, but... Even the tiniest little bits of paper, you know, I can do, I will do something with it. So, when I get the, let me move this up a little bit. Um, when I get the um, spine cut, I kind of put it like, you know, about that far apart, I guess. And then I get, oh, sorry, Bunny, I need this for a minute. Oh, that's okay, Mom, you go ahead. Bunny is the sweetest, I swear. Um, he goes overboard to make... Oh, I am so sorry, Bunny. Um, he goes overboard to make my life as easy as possible. He's such a sweetheart. Anyway, I get my packing tape. Just, just this clear, easy start packing tape. I get it at Walmart. And um, it's so easy to start that... Well, actually, I can't find the start. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll find it. Um, actually, this is really good tape. It's, um, easy to work with, and it's clear, which is also nice. Okay, then I put these things as straight as I feel I can get them. And I put, uh, <laughs> this is why I don't do tutorials, because... You know, when you mess up and you're by yourself, then you can just laugh it off. When you mess up in front of everybody, you feel like a fool. Okay, now, let me get this a little closer. Okay, so this side is okay. And... There we go. Okay, so, um, now, I don't, this, the tape is not on there correctly, 
So we are going to pull off another piece of our easy start tape and it really is easy I'm not I'm not just kidding about that and I'm just gonna cut this off and then um, you can just start it at the bottom and push it down and go ahead and turn it over and push it down on this side I usually go ahead and get another piece um, to, to stick on the back because all of this is going to be covered and no one will ever see it and you want it to be, you know, as sturdy as you can make it. So, there's the back part and then you can just cut off the excess or fold it under whatever you feel like. So, this is the start of your little book. And then you can bend it, you know, so that's why you leave a little bit of space so that the pages will bend. I think my camera's a little too close, but I don't really know how else to do this. So I'm doing the best, <laughs> the best I can, people. I need a videographer along with a secretary. So we'll work towards that. So anyway, there you have your little thing. And... The next thing I do is, um, in, like, start to embellish this. However, I always do the inside first, whichever side that's going to be, because I like to put pockets on the inside. And if you do the cover first and get everything the way you want, then when you start to do the inside, you know, if you're going to sew or something like that, you're going to mess up what you did on the outside. So... Um, the first thing I usually do is to cover this whole thing with some kind of whatever, pattern paper or book pages or whatever, even though I'm going to cover it with material or something, um, if I cover everything because I don't like anything to show through. So, like, um, you know, say that something is not quite the right size or, you know, one of the ends comes up or whatever. I always like for everything to be covered so that, you know, you don't see the playing card or the white plastic or whatever. Um, I got this really cool old dictionary pages from my friend uh, Rose um, and she's in Tucson and she sends me these and they are so cool the problem is they're really really brittle so the only thing that you really can do with them is if you're gonna glue them down or you know use them um, like for a background or something where you're gonna apply Mod Podge so, the nice thing is you just, <laughs> you just, uh, pull them off. You know, you see how easily that, I mean, it just, like, falls off because they're so, so old. And then, so you just rip the pages to fit. And, you know, I save all the little end pieces. You know, I'll show you after we're done what it looks like behind me. And on the side of my desk because there are pieces of stuff everywhere. Okay, now that's a little crooked. However, it doesn't matter because it's all going to be covered up. Um, it's only for my own sense of well-being. Here is, um, I'm a big firm believer in uh, ink. I ink everything. I also coffee dye everything. If it's going to be shown, if I haven't coffee dyed my paper, like, you know, because this would not take, stand up to coffee dyeing. If I feel like it's too light, I will either ink over it or I will take something like pattern paper, like that comes off of a pattern. And then I will just go ahead and decoupage over the whole thing. And then it looks, you know, it, it makes it darker. Like, okay, you can still, you'll still be able to see through it. But, like, if I take this and then 
go ahead and just take the Mod Podge and cover the whole area. And then take my, um, my little pattern paper and then I'm going to lay it down on here and smooth it out. And then basically what you've done is you've given it texture and you've also given it some aging. You know, the color of the pattern paper makes the whole thing look maybe like it's been coffee dyed or like it's really old and that's just the color it is. Um, sometimes I take my little brayer and that's another thing all of my tools are to totally disgusting because I use everything very hard and I'm not very good at cleaning it up after I use it like all my stamps are a mess and uh yeah that's just the way we roll here isn't it right bunny yes that's just the way we roll here okay bunny thank you that bunny, he's my biggest fan. He's always on my side, I swear. So, you cut off the excess. And... We will be good to go. In a second. Now, for your listening pleasure. do 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 I'll do that while I'm cutting so you guys don't get bored and have nothing to hear. <laughs> I'm sure you'd rather be bored. Okay. So, there you have it. You've got your little paper, your dictionary paper. You've got your pattern paper over it. Um, you can see through it so you can still see the, the words on the paper but it has an aged effect. Now, when I get this done, uh, you know what, I, that's upside down. <laughs> okay, there we go. When I get this done, um, then I usually take some kind of material and I have a lot of material uh, like, um, oh, you know, cotton fabric, laces, um, just, different, all kinds of stuff, and, um, and handkerchiefs. They're, those are one of my favorite things. I love handkerchiefs. So, when I get something like that, um, and I also buy fabric, like, I bought this, um, at Walmart the other day, and it's too bright for me, so what I do is turn it over backwards, so that, you know, I did coffee stain it, but it's still... The, the colors are brighter than I want them to be. So I would turn it over on the back side and sew it on this way so that you don't have to, um, you know, so the colors aren't so bright. Or like this. Um, this is a handkerchief that I got at a thrift store. And it's really cool and it's very old. And I, I did coffee stain this. So like what I would do would be tear it off and go about halfway up and then I would go ahead and stitch it and it would make a pocket on either side because once I get sorry sorry oopsie once I get the pages done they're gonna go here in the middle and it's gonna close like this so that would be a whole piece of fabric across both pages that would give you a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back like oh let me just show you like, um, like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, that was my arm. Okay, like this one that I've already done. So, you know, here I just randomly took some fabric and I just sewed it on and sewed it down the middle. And the nice thing about the way I work is everything is grunge. I mean, I love that look. So... When things don't come out just right or things are crooked or whatever, it's okay because that's the way I want it to look. So that's just a win-win. 
So, okay, so here you have two pockets, a place for the pages to go, and then you're going to turn it over, and you're going to do the outside. Um, so that's the way the book is started. And then, after you do the outside, you come back. I mean, after you do the inside, which is what I've done on this one, I'm preparing. I, I've been working on this one, so it's about half done. Wait a minute. Uh, that There you go. So there's a little book I made to go with it. Oh, isn't that cute? And so this is the inside that's finished. And then you, I took a handkerchief and I sewed it on the outside. So when you fold it up, it's going to look like this. That's going to be the outside cover. I might put something up here. I don't know. And that's the spine. And then that's going to be the back cover. And then when you do your pages... Like, um, again, I don't, I don't measure anything. I get a piece of, like, um, cardstock or something. And I will just take the cardstock and I will fold it, you know. Like, if I was going to put this in the middle and I want to see how far it goes to the edge... Like that, I would go ahead and fold it, and then I would cut this page off, and then cut it here, so that you would have the right size page to go into your book. Um, I so you know I don't I mean these people that are like, okay, it's five and seven hundred fifteenths. You know I don't <laughs> I don't know how to measure like that, and to me it's just easier to just wing it you know just check it out and wing it so like this is a page that I got from my new book and this was too bright so I put a tea bag over that to make it look darker and there's tuck spots it's just like a real it's just like a big journal except it's tiny you know it's like I don't know maybe three inches by two look at that little girl <laughs> she looks like she is so mad and so that's that. And then as I go on and get more pages ready, here's another page. I only have the first part of that page done. And this was actually one of those, um, you know, one of those guest checks that you get at the restaurant. And so, you know, you can make your little pages with anything. It doesn't matter. You can use pattern paper. You know, you're going to cover it up. So after you get that done, and then I, you know, I make something for the front, I make something for the back, and then you, you know, that's what your book is going to look like when it's closed. And I have found that I like sewing down the, like here, and then you just sew it right to the spine because there's enough room to do it and it's not that thick that my sewing machine won't take it and I like it better than doing like a pamphlet stitch or whatever but you can attach the pages however you want so that is how um I do my books how I get them started and then somebody wanted to know about how I do the little envelopes Okay, well now this is going to make you think that I am even so great because I do my envelopes by hand. Uh, somebody sent me this mini template a long time ago and I have cut out I don't know how many envelopes from this little template and then you just fold this up, fold this up, fold this down and you have your little envelope. Isn't that cute? And, you know, you can make it out of pattern paper or paper with, you know, book pages, whatever. So I have this size template. I have this size template, which makes a square envelope. And, again, you can see all the tracing around the edges because I just spread it out and trace around the edges. It makes a different size. Um, this one is teeny tiny. I think I got this from Michelle Mulligan, but I'm not exactly sure. And so again, 
I trace around this little tiny piece of paper. And then when you put it all together, it's like a little teeny, teeny, tiny envelope. But I do think that they're really cute and they're worth all the trouble. Plus, I also have one. Let me see here. And this is a punch. And it's about, well, I don't know what size it is. It's smaller than this one, but bigger than this one. And so you just take your book paper or whatever you have, and then you just put it in the punch. And a lot of people have cutting machines. I do not have a cutting machine. I don't have any of those kinds of machines. So sometimes, you know, then when you fold this all up, then you've got a cute little, little envelope. Um, but since I don't have any cutting machines, I do have people sometimes that will cut envelopes and send them to me. I got these from my friend Angel in Vienna. She cut them out of maps. And then you just, you know, fold everything over just like a regular one. But this one, you know, is an envelope that has maps on it. So, um, okay, that is how I do my envelopes. And that is how I do the little books that I send with Bunny. And so I think I've showed you everything. Um... Oh, I will take you and show you a little bit. Oops, sorry. Um, my, my. <laughs> okay, this is where I'm working. This is what my desk looks like. I mean, we're talking like a big, major, catastrophe type thing. Um. You know, but I do know mostly where everything is. So, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I thank you for watching, and I hope this answers your questions. If you have any more questions, let me know. And, um, uh, bye. Everyone says bye-bye, Bunny. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching our show and stuff. And I'm gonna have to take a shower now because I perspired so much during my work. Okay, Bunny, we can work that out. Have a great day, guys, and a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.